just want to thank everyone for all their support, loving the emails, sharing some great art with people. Feel free to send me a message, subscribe, leave comments. Let's get in touch. If you have ideas about work, uh, I'm listening. A lot of emails I've been getting seem to be people who are on the fence uh, about putting the Illumering or Mod in their guitar. Obviously there's inherent concerns with doing modifications to an instrument you really love. So I thought I'd just uh, walk you through a little bit. I just did um, the modification on this beautiful Ibanez here. We'll flip her around real quick. Nice flame maple top. Unlike the Strat, there's no pick guard here so I mean the mod is going directly into this uber sexy piece of wood. I understand that could be pretty frightening if you're doing it yourself. Of course, you could always go to your luthier, the guy that sets your guitar up, let him put the mod in and take it from there. But I thought I'd just show you, I mean, what it comes down to here is we're really only drilling two small holes into a piece of wood. I mean, be it an expensive piece of wood and one that you love very much, understood, um, drill slowly you know, and carefully. But that is about the only frightening part, um, the most frightening part of doing this modification. Especially if you have a pickguard, most fenders, you know, especially like a, a Strat or a Jaguar, um, you have room inside there to put lots of uh, electronics. You're doing this modification right here on a pickguard. But um, that's not always the case. You got double cutaways and Les Pauls and other guitars, obviously, uh, who don't have pick guards that you might want to modify. So um, here we are on the front. I've actually reduced this kit down by request by a guy who owns this guitar. You didn't want the motion sensor. Like I said in the last video, you may not want that kind of tricked out thing. You may only be into uh, adding strange uh, different alternate tones to your uh, to your guitar. If that be the case, um, what I did was I put the power switch and the wet dry switch on one switch, which could very easily be done by request. Uh, so instead of adding three switches like we had on the Fender, one was power, one was clean guitar, affected guitar, and then one was motion sensor and knob control. Um, you see, we've reduced that down. So in this case, we have a really beautiful, natural looking guitar. Uh, we didn't want LEDs. Uh, we didn't want motion sensors. We just wanted the effect on and off and control with the knob. And that's what we got. So this knob right here is turning the effect on and off. And that's controlling it. Very simple. Now if let's flip her over. Let's talk about installation for a second. This is right here the a Loomeringer mod. See it's very small, about the size of a quarter. There's just a few steps, especially if there's no motion sensor involved, it's just a few steps needed to install this. First, stating the obvious, you drilled the holes on the other side, and here you see we've mounted one potentiometer, and here's the switch. Alright, and that's a double pull, double throw switch, so you know one pole is controlling the on and off. Uh, which pretty much turns the battery on, so you're not burning the battery out the entire time. And the other pole of the switch uh, switches from your true bypass, natural guitar tone, to um, running it through the Illumeringer mod. Okay, gonna walk you through the installation of the mod. Uh, as I said, it's very simple, just a few steps. Here is the mod. This gray wire was the output wire going to the output jack of the guitar. It has the signal and a ground wires, two wires in this one wire. Your guitar might have one wire with two wires coming out of it or it might actually be two separate wires. Either way one will be a signal wire and one will be a ground wire. The ground wire is usually black. What you do is very simple. You take the output wire which was connected to the output jack. All right, you desolder that and you'll have two wires. All right, and then you take the input wires which will be labeled uh, two wires on the mod uh, and you solder those to the output of the guitar. So now we have the output plugged into the input of the mod then we take the output of the mod and we solder that to the output jack of the guitar. And we're done. That's it. Nice and simple. Most of us have had to replace the output jack of our guitar. As you know they wear out over time. 
if you've replaced the output jack of your guitar, you'll have no problem putting this mod in. Right, just to go over it again, real quick, a few steps. We took the output from the guitar, removed it from the output jack. We soldered those two wires to the input wires of the mod. We took the output wires of the mod and we soldered them to the output jack where the other ones originally were. What you're seeing here is just hot glue. I like to, after I solder my connections, I hot glue them uh, so that there's no short circuits and that they're nice and secured on there. I screwed in the battery clip, which the kit comes with. It's got plenty of room. You can attach this if you want to. It's really not even necessary as long as none of the metal's touching any of the metal inside. I just had it tucked right over here. That's not gonna move because the wires are gonna press. That was the switch we saw on the other side. That's the control knob, and that's it. The Illumringer mod is installed. Plug this one in real quick, and uh, I'll show you some of the tones we were getting out of it. 